what's up everyone welcome back to the channel i hope you all are having a very blessed and a wonderful day and if not i do pray and hope that it gets better so in today's video we are here to talk about exactly what is happening with the prequel tie-in comic for suicide squad kill the justice league which is conveniently named suicide squad kill arkham asylum and we're going to be going over the current panels from the comic that we have now in order to help paint a bigger picture for the story as of current so for those who don't know we're supposed to be getting a total of five comics that will explain how and why amanda waller put this new team together because as of current waller is the new owner slash warden of arkham asylum and she's not just using the place as a means to keep super villains locked up similar to what she does with bell reeve in the comics arkham is now her staging ground for new recruits in order to see who is tough enough to serve on the suicide squad and the rest of the comic will explain exactly what what happened leading into kill the justice league seeing as how the squad are all sitting in arkham when everything initially kicks off and they are shipped directly to metropolis right from arkham now this is also the earliest canon appearance of the new dead shot so there could be a chance that we can get a hint of exactly who he really is and where he came from before the actual game's release because the game itself will proceed to dig even deeper into his backstory giving us the full run of it now the comics themselves were initially supposed to release on may 30th four days after the game itself but as we all know the game was pushed back to february 2nd of 2024 and that was that however the comic release kind of flew under the radar people genuinely forgot that it was even a thing or if they were even still releasing it and if i'm being honest i can't really blame them there was nothing said about it following the game's delay now the word around town is that there is no word actually there's nothing nothing has been said about the book's release however the october 2024 release date that people have been hearing is not for the actual comic itself it is for the hardcover collection which contains all five issues in one book not the individual issues themselves also shout out to miller for pointing this out good buddy of mine Thank you to him for clearing up any confusion. Y'all should definitely go and give the man a follow on his page. Some of his favorite things are the character Quake from Marvel, VR Chat, and Canada. Now, I truly have no idea what is going on with this comic, right? Nothing, again, has been said, and those of us that have been waiting in the dark have really nothing to go on. What I'm thinking is that the comic could possibly reappear around December, and here's why. Now, the game does drop in February of next year and I'm expecting promotion to pick up no earlier than October because of course they won't say anything before they are ready to speak but at the same time that's really only a four month difference between October and the game's release and to me personally that seems like the right time to really go balls to the wall in terms of promotion because the year is winding down and everyone is looking forward to next year and what games we have in store suicide squad just so happens to be smack at the start of the year so why not take advantage of that as much as you possibly can because the game needs every bit of good press that it can get right now and when december hits again it's only a month away from release because it starts in the middle of february well it's really two months it's really two months away from release right and dropping the comic is a great way to help boost engagement and help to buy people over into the game's release by giving them the month before to jump into the comic and give them a better understanding of what that world has turned into since we last saw it in arkham knight because there are a lot of questions that need to be answered all right so now we're gonna go ahead and jump into the second half of the video where we're going to take a look at all of the cover variants for issue number one of suicide squad kill arkham asylum and also looking at the panels that they released prior to the comics release and that will also help to give us a better understanding of what the story kind of is and you know just really what's going on so the first thing we have up here are the four cover variants so as we can see we have the squad here all in their prison office this is essentially what we see them in when kill the justice league initially starts i'll show a clip here where you can see them rushing for the detonator that amanda waller threw on the floor and then you also got that bat signal that's sitting behind them up in the air then we move over to the next cover and we have a bit more vicious looking one where harley's looking truly maniacal we got dead shot and boomer back there and then king shark and killer croc are just looking absolutely deadly and also this is the this is this really marks like the return of killer croc since arkham knight and i'm actually going to talk about him a bit more in just a second then we move over to the third panel and here we have king shark 
eating well trying to eat what appears to be victor's ass's head and i'm not gonna lie he could definitely go ahead and do that because uh we really don't need victor's ass in this world i'm gonna I'm I'm just be honest with you and then we move over to i would say maybe the second most known of all the cover variants which is basically everything this is really how i assume harley just sees the world like teddy bear on fire candies and rainbows everywhere yeah this is very much a harley anime is type poster it's a it's a good it's a well not poster it's a cover it's a good cover though like most definitely but moving on right so right here right here like i said earlier this comic marks the first return of killer croc since we last saw him during the season of infamy doc where we found out that he made his way back to gotham by way of crashing iron heights the prison airship that he was being stored on now prior to this he was working security for harley quinn he was being held up in the lighthouses by ace chemicals is where he was hiding out he was used as a proxy by riddler matt hatter and harley to throw batman off his trail batman let him go in exchange for information and then that's when he was eventually captured by the warden of iron heights who then experimented on him day in and day out and eventually forced croc's mutation to evolve due to pain and stress which is the reason for why he looks the way he does now then we move over to batman right who is now operating as batman again and can be seen dropping off croc at arkham the same way he dropped him off at gcpd at the end of his dlc the second important part here is that batman is back but how long has he been back is the question now there's no definite time frame but arkham batman's earliest appearance prior to the aftermath of arkham knight was actually in batman issue number 135 where a where a whatever i forget which one but there was a batman who was traveling the multiverse and meeting other versions of himself while he was chasing down a villain and he also eventually comes across our Batman, who seems broken and depressed as he talks about his identity being public and his life being over and it all being for nothing because his Joker ended up coming back to life because the villain that was being chased throughout that issue, which is Red Mask, a sane Joker, he was causing trouble in the multiverse, like, for example, creating Jokers wherever he went and bringing Joker back to life in universes where he initially died. If we consider this canon, this further adds into the theory that nightmare batman might not have actually been been around for as long as we thought i mentioned this in my last video where i talked about batman in the league being around for at least three years max right prior to that five year time gap between the events of arkham knight and suicide squad the point of all this is that batman has actually been back in action as batman for god knows how long and hopefully the game will give us an exact answer to that my honest my honest theory is that nightmare batman was only around for like maybe one year that second year he was really just trying to get back in a more stable mindset because again he was not really doing all that well and then year three is when the justice league and everything else kind of starts to you know come around now moving on to the next panel right we get a clear shot at the squad waller commissioner gordon who's still around and batman who is also walking a brand new suit we can also see the highly updated arkham asylum which definitely looks a bit more reliable than this previous version from the past games but at the same time this is still arkham asylum so more than likely somebody's gonna break out every other week and yeah yeah, that's, that's, that's usually how it always goes. In the sales, however, we can see people like Clayface, Man Bad, Mad Hatter, and more that we couldn't make out because the picture was not all that great. Now, in the next panel, Croc then ends up getting loose and Batman tries to take him down and the squad all end up getting the exactly what the hell is going on face except for harley no one knows what that face means she's more than likely just enjoying the chaos of everything that is happening right now but if i'm right i believe all of this definitely definitely does come from issue one of the five issue series but with all that being said that's definitely gonna bring us to the end of this video so let me know down in the comments below are you guys excited for the prequel comic are you still looking forward to it do you plan on picking it up also if you do pick it up i believe there's going to be codes that can be redeemed in game for cosmetic items just like how there were codes to redeem cosmetic items in gotham knights i believe that's going to be done here i could be wrong about that i'm not i'm not entirely sure but again, are you looking forward to it? Will you be picking up the comics or will you just be reading it online or do you not care? And if you did enjoy the video and you wouldn't mind continuing to help support not only me, but the channel as well, please feel free to hit that like, share, and subscribe button. 
and smack that notifications bell so you will never miss out on any of my future suicide squad related content and i will catch y'all in the moonlight peace <laughs>